So, you're wondering what house prices are going to do in 2024? You're asking yourself, is it a great time to invest? If so, this video is a must. So it's that time of year again, when we're going to give our 2024 predictions. However, before we get into that, let's briefly cover what happened in 2023 and see how close we were. Now, a report came out a few days ago from Halifax. They stated that after all said and done, 2023 actually finished 1.7% up for the year. Now let's take a look at what all the other major reports stated. Now you can see on your screen now that Oxford Economics and Capital Economics predicted a 12% fall. Savills, a 10% fall. The Office for Budget Responsibility, a 6.1% fall. There's the irony right there. And they were all totally wrong. Now, then you had our prediction. Now this clip that you're about to see in here now was taken from a webinar that we did in 2023, January 2023. It's uploaded onto YouTube, it's there for you all to see, and you can actually hear that we predicted a rise of 1-2% to overall for the year, which was spot on. And not only did we predict a rise, but we predicted how it would happen. We stated that the house prices would fall at the start of the year, only to recover in the latter half of 2023. Take a listen. Now, but mortgage rates have of course affected it. So what's happened? Well, demand has slowed. But now mortgage rates are starting to come back. We feel that rather than this huge crash that everyone's thinking, or um, you know, some people have been 15, 20% in the negative, we're thinking a small correction, but the reality is, is 3% of that's already been factored in. We think probably we will be looking at another two to 3% negative before we start to rise to the end of the year. We personally think the year is gonna be flat, maybe even pushing one to 2% of an increase because we don't feel that the economics are, are there to have this major correction or major crash. We think the slight correction, but we actually feel by the end of the year, we could start to see some positivity. So there you have it. 15 predictions were incorrect. And our one prediction was absolutely spot on. So now what's gonna happen for 2024? Now let's look at the so-called experts. Again, on your screen, you can see the OBR, again, predicting a fall. But let's be honest, they haven't got a clue what they're doing at the best of times, let alone making property predictions. But let's come on to companies like Knight Frank, JLL, who are in the industry. They're predicting a four and a 3% fall respectively. However, I really can't see this happening again. I'm actually predicting a 3.5% increase in prices in 2024. Now, all of this will happen, in my opinion, in the first nine to 10 months of the year. In fact, I think we'll probably see a 5% increase in the first nine to 10 months. And then house prices are gonna be slightly pegged back in the last three months of the year. I'll tell you why now. Now, as we always say, the fundamentals of house prices come down to the following. Taxation, liquidity, and legislation. Now let's take legislation. I don't feel there are gonna be any major changes that we don't know about in either residential or buy-to-let property in 2024. Now when legislation is stable, we tend to see marginal gains in the property prices. Now we then come on to the big one. This for me affects it more than anything, liquidity. At the end of 2022 and the start of 2023, liquidity was dramatically different. It affected prices because mortgage rates were increasing. This meant that buyers simply did not have the same purchasing power, liquidity, than they once did, hence the pullback of prices. However, it seems to be that that's now passed. Inflation is naturally falling, giving comfort to central banks and lenders alike. And in turn, we've seen mortgage rates fall to levels that we've not seen in a while. This has increased buying power. Hence, the last four months, we've seen solid increases month on month in property prices. So where can this all go? Now, there are a few conflicts in the world currently, which can affect inflation. But assuming all being equal, I feel that the Bank of England will start to bring rates back down in the second quarter of this year, and mortgage rates are gonna subsequently fall. Already we're seeing, if you've got a large enough deposit, you're already around about 4.3 to 4.4% in terms of a mortgage rate. But I think that come the spring and the summer months when the mortgage market actually peaks for people viewing, we could see a bumper rise in prices as I think mortgage rates are gonna be sub 4%, if not sooner. Now, this is what gives me confidence that we're gonna see a 5% rise by October 2024. However, why do I think it's gonna be pegged back towards the end of the year, I hear you ask? Well, it's election year, and I feel that during election year, there's more uncertainty. Now, I think that the election is gonna be called more than likely in November of 2024. 
And if so, as I mentioned, the uncertainty around this time of year, typically what happens is buyers pause until they know not only the outcome, but of course, long-term consequences such as taxation and legislation. So there you have it, a 3.5% growth in property prices in my prediction. Add this on to the fact that we can get you 7% income and you've got yourself a fantastic investment returning 10% for the year. I hope this makes sense and I look forward to seeing you in 12 months. Take care.